including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your okay. party. This should be better again, because the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Yes. Find out what's in store for the beloved world of Trials Man. of Mana on April 24th. So, my brother is also using the internet, the so of this it was ship. really bad. The if I was by myself, then yeah. Like, if this was earlier in the later, morning, this would have worked. With no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. As an insurance investigator for the East India Company, you must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device, Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each yeah, soul's last my moment. Was good, but you they couldn't time. handle exactly what the I give you. Explore the ship and be streaming. Observe the situation at the same time and record your logical my deductions. Is also using the Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. Okay. There's a small town out there with a ah, big secret. By Game Freak. Let's see what this is all about. Never leave town. Look at the that heads is on those kids. upon by the people <laughs> of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster. To defend the townspeople, one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. Axe. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. Ideas? Okay. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. Okay. And almost the all the music the in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Little Town Hero will make a stand on Nintendo Switch October 16th. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later today. Fall is coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo All right, and Kazooie. Kazooie! Banjo and Kazooie! That's an echo. And the release date is... Today! Today? After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll broadcast a video detailing how to use Whoa. Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Masahiro Sakurai. <laughs> As a special treat, the video will begin immediately <laughs> following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Oh, the jump pad Tied thing. yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie. Please check it out. <laughs> what the heck's with the arrow? But first, is that a hint for something? More Smash news? Whoa. Oh, wait, huh? What, what the? <laughs> Neo Geo? Wait a minute. Those graphics. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, that's right. That's um, it, um I remember this. This was leaked. <laughs> None of them catching it. The you failed to get the invitation. You ain't in Smash. You ain't in Smash. <laughs> They're all thought. You ain't in Smash. <laughs> you are. 
far, though. Man. Tear. <laughs> now in the belt. Nice. Fatal Fury. <laughs> He's coming out in November. So, we got one more person Terry next. Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. Can there really be only one left? There's one more. A special announcement. Are we getting hints? We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass, huh? we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. What? The battle isn't over yet. Smash Bros, are you are you okay, Sakura? <laughs> so, what do you think? Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll Sakura have more to share with you in the future. <laughs> For now, let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. It's about time Yay. to wake the Windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which means the, the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing islanders, face a series of puzzling tasks, and encounter some oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, Kirby? help Link escape from the island before its mysteries get the best of him. We got, got Kirby enemies in this With the all-new Chamber Dungeon, you can place and chambers Goombas earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons, add in plus effects that alter chambers, and save Chamber Dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. That way, nice. your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. The new Link Amiibo figure will be available that same day. You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yeah. Now join his adventure. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds and experience new character-focused stories. <laughs> the day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. <laughs> An RPG giant draws near. Dragon Quest XI S, Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Cool. Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness? Whoa! Then say hello to Tokyo! Wow! The worlds of the Fire <laughs> they brought Emblem it over. and Atlas games have crossed paths. And the Let's result see if they is would. coming to Nintendo Switch. I never did get to finish this game. The story takes place in modern but day it wasn't Tokyo, all that great anyways, where creative so. <laughs> energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called Performa, which attracts wicked mirages who suck it out of people. I just never got to finish it. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Wow. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles blending the combat of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. I Be sure to check out the other the new features, from, from the new Emblem story City. elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Hey, is that Tiki? <laughs> Tokyo Why Mirage is, uh, Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January 17th. Quality, you can pre-purchase the game so later weird. today. Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. Boston, 2019. It all begins again when FBI agent oh, Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an Inside. old serial killer she case. She also opens a door to the unknown, a door that also takes us back to New Orleans, 
14 years ago. Excuse me? Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. York. The journey between past and present will York take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, Deadly boggles and beguiles on okay. Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Hmm. Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo wow. Switch. Check it out. I heard of this game. I've seen a little bit of gameplay of Things are available today. And now for a message from Bethesda. Hey Nintendo fans, Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. Doom. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Doom 64 is coming For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. We live your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Or if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. We got it. Introducing a brand new IP from developer huh? High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization, Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety oh, of objective-based <laughs> game modes. That looks good. And it's guns, buffered. gadgets, <laughs> or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mer- Come on. Mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. <laughs> How's it going? Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this next Pokemon share adventure. Share a lot with us. Please take a look. Oh, <laughs> Hit the desk again. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Both. Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Today, we'll cover four features you. you can look forward to. First, customizing your look. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Nice. About time we get more. But does the male get a little more too? Look Plus, at her. Plus, you can her change so your hairstyle. <laughs> Gave her a gym outfit, pretty much. Or put on but a so little revealing. makeup. There's a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. 
You've got to look the part Once too. again, Don't everybody's been playing as the female because more Second, customization options. Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. <laughs> While you're there, you can play with your Pokemon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you, you can, can visit camp. other players' camps too. <laughs> oh, wow. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. <laughs> we definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is nice. very popular in the gallery. I've come up with a new curry recipe. On rice. <laughs> this guy. How your curry this turns guy. out uh, and what Final type Fantasy of it ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients <laughs> you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? Yeah, What's Japanese that sure Pokemon their food doing here? In their video games, and fourth, huh? we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. Wow, First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding Pulti amongst tableware, <laughs> hotels, and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. I this don't ghost think I want Pokemon <laughs> also has a special ability called Weak Armor. Next, another new Pokemon called <laughs> Cramorant. Call, this I've seen everything. This water-type Pokemon <laughs> has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uh, uses pause. Surf or Dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. <laughs> if it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability, <laughs> Gulp Missile. Gulp Missile. <laughs> and that's all we have to share with you today. It. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon on, Shield now. will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Well, how about that? There are still they could have shown more until the game releases. Please we look forward to the way you can start your stuff. new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. It's called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, you can play a variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. There are some you may not expect, like Stunt Race FX, which will be available to play on another system for the first time. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend, or even play together online. Oh, and the rewind function will be available from launch. Wow. Here are the first games we plan to release. All 20 of the games you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Of course, cool, we will eventually though. add more to the lineup. This offer is exclusively available to Nintendo Switch Online members, so please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, you noticed this, did you? To recapture the original feel of these games, we will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, this Super NES-style controller will be available for though, purchase though. exclusively <laughs> for Nintendo Switch I would Online mind, I would Visit mind, the Nintendo uh, website for the latest information on its release. Wouldn't it be nice to play those games again with one of these controllers? Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. 
Okay. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! <laughs> to showcase your accomplishments, well, it's about time they added stuff. in a vast array of new player icons, too. It's not like I'll that, still play, but you know. The second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU, and get together hmm. with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A packaged version including the game, I DLC, like watching and a Nintendo this. Switch Online 12-month individual Tetris membership will be available too. September 6th. <laughs> Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games has become a tradition of its own. This time, Mario there are more Sonic than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, <laughs> football, just be funny. skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Hmm. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 story. will go for the gold November 5th. The next Damon X Machina Damon demo will be here sooner than you think. Which I probably won't be able to record really. next week. The free demo because version they, they Damon love X Machina prologue demo will be available for download about later this game. today. In this prologue, so I might, not, I might not even. Game. I might just skip this. All of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played a mech action game and you're wondering what they're all about, this is the perfect time to take one for a test drive. A key feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends, and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your mech and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? <laughs> Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. A Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our <laughs> only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey begins. Oh, the Rivia, Witcher. Mercenary monster yeah, we, we're slayer. You're talking about more of Tracking cool. down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. You'll have a whole world to explore, at home and on the go, when the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games for one great value. All past DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch in Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, for, uh, and team up with other Slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are on the way.
Oh yeah. Time for the flash of games now, right? How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? That big old Animal Crossing. Thank you for choosing the Deserted Island Getaway Package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the Getaway Package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook Phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting gotcha tools games. and furniture. <laughs> Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials, like branches, and stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. Nicely done. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And with those, you can craft more items. So it's uh, Animal Crossing the Survival. Feel free to place furniture inside or outside. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style and you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, as part of our island cleanup plan. In addition to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. <laughs> a vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. Well, I'll just build a bridge. A nutritious boy. snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. What? <laughs> somewhere here. else to change things up in that corner of the island. 
The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously, up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the Collect same her space. Hard work. <laughs> With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory? How's Deserted Island Life looking? What we've shown you here today is like truly Minecraft. just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. You catch a we snowflake. can't wait for you to experience the Nooking Deserted milk. Island Getaway Package. So, how'd it look? That trailer was There's longer than the Pokemon until trailer. The game launches. Way to show so favoritism. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. I was going to say, why did it look like a uh, Xenoblade? And it is. <laughs> Never played this one. Do you wish to change it? Man, I've only played one Xenoblade, huh? and that was X. By far my favorite one. The future. It's got a definitive edition now. That's cool. Looks good. No lie. Twenty twenty. The Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in two thousand twelve on the Wii system, is destined to be already. reborn on Nintendo Jeez. Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in two thousand twenty. But where's X? Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Hopefully. Thank you for watching. Ugh. I wanted them to show more. Well, that's that. Yeah, stay tuned for a video from. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey. Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. What's the ground for this? You may feel like some time has passed since our Hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. Wow. We sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that today's Nintendo Direct is over, please let me take just a little bit more of your time. You may remember in the Hero Showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks would connect. <laughs> Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. 
Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tui. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, although they never came to Japan. I feel like Sakurai's gonna grow a third hand. And then there's Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, <laughs> which was released on Xbox 360. <laughs> As some of you may know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. But Technically, you guys are cool. they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. series. <laughs> for that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. <laughs> so, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. <laughs> I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. <laughs> Now let's talk about the music. The Banjo-Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle, so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay. Let's take a look at the fighter. So I want to... Oh, why is this not going away? I want to apologize for the earlier the stream attempt. Joins the battle. Why isn't my mouse going oh, So this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's Kazooie. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. Look at it! He has more of a cartoon We've included face. lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. For example, the talent trackers used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities Nasty, but, uh, like flat flip and feathery flap. Kazooie. <laughs> their neutral attack is called claw swipe. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we've built upon the original motion so claws, that it fits the action of Mario. Our game. Catch them claws! <laughs> Their flurry attack is a rat attack wrap. <laughs> Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. Their up smash is Bill Drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Just Harisen punish is a word that Kazooie. only exists in the Japanese, <laughs> so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In Just English, slams the damn Regal bird! <laughs> I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this basically means bird bash, which is pretty accurate. Animal abuse. <laughs> Their neutral air is wing well. Rush. It's animal abusing an animal, not a human abusing air an is animal. An air rat, well, unless Mario decides to punch. <laughs> Their down air is beak buster, but that bear which they wants use to, to fight. So as they drop. Hey, they, they get abused out here. Everybody is. You're gonna be in Smash. Prepare to be Smash. As you smashed. can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original games. The down yeah. up taunt was something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where Banjo sometimes stretches. <laughs> now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. Nice. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Regal Blaster. 
Brico Blaster is based on this card in Nintendo where the screen mimics an FPS. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. Nice. As in their original game, it's an invincible it uses feathers attack. too. Wow, goes through projectiles. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stun. <laughs> Since the remaining Fail. uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. Wow. Punished. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring Pad. Just like Sonic Spring. It can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. It's throwable? Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward, in that you're still able to jump in midair after using it, meaning you can jump wow. twice in a row. So if you're falling, you He's can use it like quite this, the recovery. jump, and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. By the way, the height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold the button down. Huh. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. Rear egg. It's a grenade egg. This is a slightly odd projectile, in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. Hey, that's good tactics if you know how to use it. I bet and because he's gonna be is football shaped, perfect. Its bouncy at, um, trajectory can be unpredictable. If they don't ban him from after a certain time, or it will explode. <laughs> I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Your opponents can also throw it back at you. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. Yeah, it is. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly, or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. Nice. <laughs> Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the West it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. Ooh. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Bros. series. It's yeah. truly unique. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. That's a cool stage. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Glentilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, Let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle.
Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on, so there are actually two on my side too, so I should be fine, right? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad if I just stand around, so I'll play carefully. I should probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. <laughs> Note we're playing with items on. Hmm. Gosh, the quality. I think we're doing pretty good Come so on far. Now. I have two opponents, and since items are on, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent can use it twice. I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? Auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Oh, their final smash meter's filled up. You can have that. <laughs> now. Why the heck is the quality dropped? Oh my gosh. This looks bad nice. now. I'm not even streaming it. This is too now that much there's one less opponent, this should be easier. That's definitely Nintendo. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. Oh, that's good. And final smash. I forced him out, so I win. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. That's a wrap. I'd also like to talk about some of the cameos that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. In Banjo-Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Brentilda. This is Bottles, a mole, and another poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo-Tooie. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. Next is Mumbo Jumbo. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? She's running at the bottom. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, you can see all the detail even at her size. You could probably make an action game just using this. She's raising havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. And after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. Now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, maybe she's not going home? And here come the Jinjos. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic enemy characters called Buzz Bombs, but since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard-to-see areas, so I hope you enjoy it. Next, let's talk music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. We're including a total of 10 music tracks. Of these, seven are entirely new arrangements. 
I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic deal. So I hope you enjoy it. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, but he did an absolutely wonderful job. And here's the list of tracks this time. Okay. Each of the new tracks has been Sorry, carefully tailored to match the action tables like, face on screen. There most of it. Well, me being silent, I had to do something. Update. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. Right. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. And here it is. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. I remember this mode. They bring it back. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat. <laughs> and off it goes. Whoa. Hi. Maybe a little too high. <laughs> and so, Home Run Contest makes its return. Nice. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contests, so please enjoy. This time, Sandbag has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. <laughs> you can actually play with a second player. Really? Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. Time to strike. Here we go. No. This isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. That's cool. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize your special moves. If you find a Mii Fighter that you like the look of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. Hmm. However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update, and only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update, so I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. Neat! Smash Bros is the game that just keeps on giving. Even when it's, it should just stop, but it does, it gives anyway, because it wants to, and I love it. <laughs> Mega Man. Your Pokemon. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> they didn't do that! <laughs> Sands of the game, boys! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh man, Dark Ride, you are just amazing.
We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale, who was a popular request. <laughs> and this Sans outfit also comes from the music that's track. Cool. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, Toby nah. Fox. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. <laughs> he was actually really good. <laughs> of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Ah, oh, Squirtle Squirtle. Gets one? Cool. And Bulbasaur. Ivysaur. And Charizard. Can't forget your boy Charizard. Wait, <laughs> where's Charizard? And Snake. <laughs> I wonder why he was hiding. <laughs> they will each be available on September. Oh, is there already a Charizard one? So many the software now. update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Watch the eShop crash. <laughs> if they don't have the challengers back and stuff, it still might take a while for the update. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct. Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. That SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. <laughs> Finally, it was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. Mm. You may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? But I'm also excited. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. It is. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. <laughs> and I will continue to work hard at developing the game. Don't overdo it, man. I appreciate your support. We appreciate you. That's it for today. Thank you very much. Wow. That's it. That's it. Alright, guys. Thank you. For watching, this has been great. <laughs> what the heck? An image downloaded? Hold on a second. I'll check that out another time. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this because I know I did. There's a lot of stuff to take in. Am I going to do a discussion after the video? Who knows if I'm even going to post this or not? But I will try and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!